Previously on Film School. We're going to have seven weeks of classes. We're doing 36 10 minute films in a very short period of time, and things go wrong. It's already, I think, a challenge for me to go back to university at age 34, you know? Okay, so you're not able to register right now because you didn't pay the bill from the fall. This particular film is dealing with issues of me and my mother. My mom has multiple sclerosis. This has been something that I've been needing to make for a long time and haven't done it because I've always been too scared. So what do you think about the script now? What I'm worried these? about it. She's one of these young filmmakers writing about their own experience in the world, but you very rarely ever see one wanting to direct a movie. Four film students, ten weeks, one goal. To direct an award-winning student film and launch their careers. Which one has what it takes? Well, casting a student film is not easy. Student filmmakers are a disadvantage dealing with actors. We didn't really have access to professional actors. I think it's pretty much understood that they're acting for free. You can find good actors. I mean, you hold an audition. You put you put ads. And I, at that time, as I said, there was a small newspaper called Backstage, and even a variety. You'd have to raise the money to get the ad. Somebody will call. Somebody will call up. Somebody will be there. There's so many hungry, great actors out there, especially in New York City. You, know, you can people take people from the street, and they might be better than, than actors, or they might be more real. I submitted a uh, casting call, and actors just sent thousands and thousands and thousands of headshots here. Here's some more. <laughs> These are the people I want to call. I really like them. Because they look like real people. They don't look like models. Like, there's this one woman who submitted for my pudgy goth girl. Pudgy. You can see her ribs. I, pudgy. Right now, I need to cast the main character. I've had three or four casting sessions, and it's just really hard to get very good actors because a lot of them are starting out, a lot of them have little experience, and it's really difficult because I'm really, really shy with the actors. I have a hard time, personally. So, have a seat. I should let you know that there's a monkey involved that you'd be working with. I want to try reading you for Neil first. He's really, really, really shy and introverted. OK, whenever you're ready. Well, wait. I, I mean, uh, come on. I know you did it, so you have to come with me now. You have to leave the mall now. Is that the quality you're looking for? Yeah, well, Something like that? I guess I should have told you the scenario first. What? I should have told you the scenario of what's going on and all that. You're it's trampled on. You're completely you're just, like, since the day you were born, I guess, you've been trampled on. It's like the whole, uh, you don't even think about being made a fool of it because you're made a fool of all the time. Okay. I don't know. But um, that was good. Um, thank you. All right. Thank you for coming in. So long. Goodbye. <sighs> that sucks. <sighs> I feel sad. That guy probably is feeling really bad or something, or not liking me. 
he probably feels like he blew it. And now he's on tape blowing it. That's how I'd feel. Ever since I was a kid, I've been shy. Kids were mean because I was an easy target, because I was quiet, and I didn't fight back. I receded into my mind because of this fear of rejection. Now I'm afraid to be assertive to get what is right for the film. I'm too caught up in my own fear. And I believe in my script, but there's always that little voice that every once in a while would just like rip my guts out and just like lay me out and just I'm still dealing with I, I feel like yeah. I've already auditioned like over a hundred people total and at least 20 for the mother. So what the scene is, is you want your daughter to stay for dinner. I do feel like I'm like waiting for the right actress and I feel like that through my whole auditions as I'm waiting for someone to come in, I'll be like, oh, that's the one. When are you ready? Yeah, just go ahead and read it. Do you need any condoms? Mom! That's only hard for me personally, like emotionally, just because it's weird for me to cast someone as my mom. This film is based on personal experiences. My mom has multiple sclerosis, and most of my memories of hers are pretty negative. I would get in very dramatic fights and be like, you know, why can't you just be a normal mom? Like, why can't you be like everyone else? I mean, things that I'm sure hurt her a lot. And had she been a nicer person, I might have you know, kind of forgiven the illness thing more, but it was like, she was sick, I had to take care of her, and she was mean and bitter and angry and not a friendly person. On the surface, she makes you angry because she's not being a good daughter. She's, you're the mother, she's the daughter, she's supposed to stay home for dinner, that's like what happens in families, and she just leaves all the time. Plus, she's pretty nasty to you. Yeah. Yeah, let's just try it, let's do it a whole bunch of times. Do you need any condoms? Mom! Just want you to be safe, that's all. Who'd you know? You can't even have sex. <sighs> I've always secretly thought that maybe my mom should be in it. Um, all the way since I started writing it. I'm going to talk to Milcho, my directing teacher, and Karen, my acting teacher, to find out what they think about me going out to California and working with my mom. Hi. Hi How you doing? Good. Yeah? Yeah. What's the uh, okay. soap opera that you say is your life? Yes. No. Okay, well the main thing is whether or not I should have my mom act as not the mom character or not. I think she could bring something more to the project that I maybe don't see. If you were forced to work with one of the actresses, how would you feel? Fine about it. Like, I feel like it would be easier for me to work with. Shh. So do you just want this punishment? Outside the project, the reason I feel like I should go there is to literally reconnect with my mother. I feel like I should go there. Yeah. I'm interested in that. The word should? Yep. What other word would I use? Why do you feel you should go there? I don't think anyone can tell you what is the right thing. Right. You're Everyone's not, telling me that's the wrong idea. And you're not going to listen anyway. <laughs> right. So. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. Can you take a trip out there? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, good. I'm going this weekend. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now what you have to do is try a little direction with her. Right. And when are you supposed to shoot? I have a little over a month. I feel very, like, indecisive. And it's a mess. I'm casting in branch hour. I never post an ad for actors. I, I rather prefer to meet the people in the street. I meet here. Great actor, he's perfect for my character, for Jimmy. <laughs> well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Luke's Restaurant. My name is Kenny Dash. I'm your Sunday brunch bitch. Hello. Yeah. Hello. This man over here, this is Vincenzo. 
is an NYU film student, and he wants me to be this person in this movie. You are the director? He's short, so he wrote a short film. <laughs> Kenny is full of energy. He's very smart. Funny. Excuse me, sir. Oh! <laughs> I don't care about the drag queen or not. Doesn't matter. Stand up, pal. So I'm going to cast him in this very key role. My film is called Art of Spider. The main character is a man called Jimmy who gets around the cafe scanning women with a fake spider. And one day Jimmy meets a woman who has her own fake spider. They, they fall madly in love. It's a true fable. We are going to cast my man, the main character. So we are going on 42nd Street where I will have plenty of choice. So I will choose the best one for the movie. Oh, oh, I think. I will back. I want to see other spider before to choose, you know? Malls suck. They take themselves way too seriously. They think they're the center of the universe. Oh, if you portray us on film, terrorists could see the floor plan of our mall and come and bomb us. It's not like anyone's gonna see my movie anyway. The mall was a little too nice. My mall has to have a broken spirit, this broken down quality. Let's roll. I'm digging the architecture. I'm digging the class of store. It's not those like Bloomingdale's and Neiman Marcus. Look at these skylights, check it out. That's nice. I love it. I really like the, the atmosphere. This is it. That's what I'm looking for! Ah! I finally found a mall that I'm really liking. Wow. I'm upset. The mall I really want to shoot in. They said they can't, it's not worth it to them to upset their tenants with our film. Is that cigarette number four? That's just self-pity. Come here. Do something useful. I can't take it. Rejection hurts. Oh, Jesus Christ, Barbara, shut up. I've got 10 days before I'm supposed to film, and I don't have any locations. I don't have any actors. I don't have anything. I feel really scared. Breaks up. We're all gonna die. Ready for it all to be over and get a goddamn mall. The more crap I have to look at, the renewed sense of hope is all bullshit. 
I just want a mall. I'm very nervous right now. The days keep going away. Things that should be taking 10 minutes are taking two days to take care of. I need coffee is what I need. I'm getting like pissy. I need gas too. Shit. Cross Bronx? Wait. Exit six. Now what the hell is going on? Is exit six us? No. Exit Bronx. Parkway. Rain Parkway. I said sp wait. Exit six. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what to do. You're like one parkway. I don't there's one parkway short of a fucking breakdown here. I don't even know where we are. Where are we? Being back in Oakland is very strange. It has been three years since I saw my mom. We're not close. This film has been something that I've been needing to make for a long time. And now that I'm an adult, I'd like to reformulate a healthy relationship with my mom. Um, and this is kind of a strange roundabout way of going about it. We'll see if it works out. I went to the Hate Ashbury Free Clinic. I mean, the problem with it is it's so small that it's hard to film in. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, it's like as big as this table. Probably it's too hard to film there. It's really crowded and busy, and I don't know. And then I went to, then the woman, the receptionist. <laughs> um, the, you okay? I'm fine. Sir, can I get a glass of water, please? Um, <coughs> if you want to tell him to stop filming so you can cough, you can tell anytime you don't want him to film, just say so. Okay. I didn't feel like talking to her about being in the film because it's kind of the, the thing I was most afraid of. So... When on Friday do you leave? Morning or afternoon? I need to figure out my plane tickets, but I can't get to the internet. The Rockbridge Library has DSL. They have a right, but they're line. closed. I don't think they're Saying closed. Saying like late at I night. I tell you, I think they're open until like 30 on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Okay, it's well, it's 8.15 right now, because we started so late. I thought so it was 6.20. It's 8.15, that's why I'm, I keep saying I have to go soon. <laughs> I was supposed to meet right. my friend You're at right. 7. You're, right. You're absolutely right. Um, so, how's the cat? Cat is fine. Have you decided between New York and California? Um, no. Okay. So what's going to be the deciding factors? If I can get the plane tickets and the hotel. And you should be in it, maybe, when you're here. So now I want to know why did you decide that I should be in the film versus an actress? Um, why I sh maybe should be in the film? Right. Well, I think... because you are my mom. It's part of it. It's true. Um, so in a lot of ways, you're more similar to the character than an actress would be. And the biggest reason that it's not a good idea is just that you're not an actress. So things like memorizing the lines and like repeating a performance and like things that are natural for a professional actress are going to be harder. I thought I'd be good at it. I think you could be good at it. And I think I'm worried that when it actually comes time to film the whole thing, you might be overwhelmed. How much time do you think it's going to be? A day? Half a day? No, it'll be a few days for every, for all the scenes. For two me, days. For, for I would me. say two days. For the house, yes. Yes. For me, just one, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't put it on. Just. Okay, bye-bye. 
Um, tomorrow, I'll call you tomorrow. I feel like I'm totally exploiting her and like really pushing her. Like she's not in the film industry, she's in a wheelchair. Like it just really comes across as very exploitative and manipulative and like really not cool. I feel it's hurt my relationship with her being out here, which is totally the opposite of what I wanted. The game is serious now. Now it's time to rehearse. I want you, I want to work with you, and I want to dance with you. I want you, man. You know. Do you do the wardrobe? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. And I wouldn't be in any makeup or anything, not like the drag makeup for this. It's just, I'm supposed to be a, a man. Yeah, of course. I feel relieved that uh, I found Jimmy. Oh, this is the part I love. To cast the actor, it's huge. This is the moment where I am enjoying the process. It's, it's, it's the creative process, it's the, the making of your film. Mm -hmm. Telephone in this condition. Hello? Yes. Okay. Please. Hello. Vincenzo. Do you have a moment? Ah, uh, I'm coming in. The 24th of September is the deadline to pay tuition. So I want to ask you if there is some possibility first to have like a delay in order to give me more time to go around and wait for answer. But do you file the financial A? Uh, there, no for, there is no financial aid for international students. But they have a system somehow to find out who is really having needs and some who don't have needs. Yes. And I don't know, you know. So number one step, you should go talk to John Brown. Yeah, I was talking with John Brown last year. He who? was John Brown. Yeah. Last year he wasn't helpful at all. He said that just there is nothing for international students. And what about if there is no scholarship? Can I have like a delay to pay and find a way? And I, I'm, I'm a fighter, you know. I, I, I'm still searching for money outside here. Yeah. I have to check because I, I we might know. have some money. Yeah. But I have to check the procedures. No, but in the worst possibilities, that means after 24th September, I'm out. That's the worst possibility. Uh, uh, okay, I see. You guys still got 22 days. Next on Film School. What are we working with as far as budget is concerned? I don't have any money. $10,000 in a couple of weeks? God damn, we gotta get cracking. I still have 22 days to find this money. It's like a 10 hour job every day. I'm desperate, I need a producer. The film will suffer. I need a mall, a bar, an actor. I need a monkey. I need the money to do all this. I have no idea when I'm gonna get it. This is so fucked up. <laughs> I don't know what makes your face implode, but that's the way the 